मागे Take this way by your case in trying me. Oh, that lady, it happened. Hello guys. Good evening everyone. How you all doing? Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> um if you can hear me just um comment in the chat section. Good evening everyone. Good day. Can we all hear me?
can you hear me esther okay 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 thank you so much thank you so much so welcome guys welcome to um the jazz digital hub so today we'll be discussing on virtual assistant it's going to be a two days let me enable recording let me enable recording okay oh. okay guys so this is going to be a two days training so today will be like two hours max where we'll be discussing about what virtual assistant is what remote work and freelancing is how to uh, transition from your regular stuff into the world of remote and what are the skills required for remote work and before we start my name is chiwendu ama and i'm the lead instructor of the jazz digital hub i'm a mother a wife and a remote work and obviously a virtual assistant so i'll be taking you guys um today is going to be a two section class where the first session will be doing an introduction to um virtual the world of virtual assistant and it's going to be a like 30 minute section why the next session will be looking at skills required for to work remotely as a virtual assistant. I will be looking at the graphic design skills. That, that's gonna be a very practical class. It's gonna be a very practical class. So this first section needs to be brief. Yes. So uh, why am I, why do I qualify to teach you guys? So why am I qualified? So yes, I've been working remotely for, as a virtual assistant for over two years now. And it has been a very, very wonderful ride. So prior to this point, I was a banker. I was working in the bank and I discovered the, the world of remote working when I got laid off. Yes, after five years, I got laid off. And at that point, I was at point zero zero, And that was when I discovered that there's something called freelancing. There's something called work from home. And I took up a training. And this is years down the line. I have been practicing. I've not only been practicing and made success out of it. I've been able over the time, uh, over the time, I've been able to train over 1,500 people to also leverage in the digital space. So that is why I qualify to talk to you guys this evening about what virtual assistant is. So the class will be tonight and tomorrow. So before I don't mind my manners to the Christians out there, compliments of the season. So happy Easter holiday. So guys, let me, let's not waste too much time because the next class is going to be like a serious practical class. So um, I thought I muted everyone. I'm coming, guys. Who is that person? I've muted everyone. I'm still noticing that. Please, guys, if you know you're on your mic is unmuted, please mute yourself. So, guys, let's start. Let me share my screen. Yes. So, hope you all can see my screen. Yes. So, now, before we go into practical, let's look at who a virtual assistant is. Like I would always say, a virtual assistant is, an, is a virtual office assistant. A virtual assistant is a secretary, is an office assistant. But we say a virtual assistant is a general, is generally a self-employed provider. Like it's a professional, is a self-employed professional that um, provides services in administrative, technical, and creative parts of um, a client's business. So as a virtual assistant, you are 
a remote office assistant that provides services in either the administrative sector of your client's business or you provide services in the technical sector of your client's business or you provide services in the creative sector of your or uh, creative set of your client's business and you do this remotely as a virtual assistant you work 100 percent remotely so now okay let me guys do not mind me i'm going to turn off my camera because i'm a breastfeeding mom and in a few seconds my baby might just come up and want to collect something so that I won't be exposing everything out there. Please don't be offended, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So let's <laughs> let's go right in. So now let's look at the roles of a virtual assistant. Okay, now let's look at the um, roles of a virtual assistant. So can you, guys, can you still hear me? So we say a virtual assistant is a professional that work remotely, a professional office assistant that assists their clients either um, admin, either uh, assist them maybe to run their administrative tasks, to run their creative tasks or their technical tasks. So now you can't see my screen. Guys, can you see my screen? Let me stop sharing and share again. Guys, can you see my screen now so that I can just share this again? Can you see it now? Let me stop sharing. I know. When I just shared, did you see? I didn't know I wasn't sharing before. Can you see my... Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let me share my screen. Before then, I'm coming. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Let me share my screen. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, where did I save this? Okay. So can you see my screen now? All right, thank you. So we are talking about um, who a virtual assistant is. And we said, thank you for the, uh, the person that um, initially called my attention to the fact that I wasn't sharing my screen. Thank you so much. Um, we are talking about who a virtual assistant is. And we said a virtual assistant is a remote office assistants whose job is to assist their clients to handle their either their administrative technical or creative tasks so your job role is depending on the tax you are doing for your clients so we'll be looking at what this administrative technical and creative tax is in, in further slides but firstly let's look at what are the roles of a virtual assistant? As a virtual assistant, you can be saddled with so much roles. So well, we'll be looking at a few. So as a virtual assistant, firstly, you must handle um, schedule management. 
one of the roles, like you must be good at managing your client schedule, email management, data entry, research tax. Yes, as a virtual assistant, your boss can call you at any time to say, okay, do so, so. Can you please research on social company in our niche? Let's look at what our competitors are doing. Let's look at why people patronize our competitors more. Okay, we want to go into a new line of business. Go and make your findings. Get us every information, every inch of details we need to know about social company. Yes, that is your job as a virtual assistant because you are an office secretary. You are, you are the, your client's PA. You need to know how to handle the ad administrative tasks like administrative support, um, customer service. Yes, customer service is also a part of virtual assistant. Like when we say customer service, we uh, also include inbound and outbound calls we're going to look at that later telemarketing you are also part of virtual assistant then as a virtual assistant you also will be in charge of preparing your client's documents you prepare their documents you edit their documents you do lead generation yes if your clients have you as a virtual assistant they have no need going out to pay maybe um, a lead generation expert to prepare or um, generate new leads for maybe a new line of products they are trying to launch or something. So as a virtual assistant, you have more roles, including social media management. Yes. You, what we call these handlers, social media page handlers, they are also virtual assistants. Yes. As a virtual assistant, you even if you're not like a pro 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 but you must have an idea of you know social media management an idea of graphic design even if you do not know the really the tech graphic designing like the powerpoint and the others at least the, the the you must have an idea of canva design you must have an idea of scheduling you must understand how to schedule you must understand how to manage their email because if I'm to hire a virtual assistant and my virtual assistant cannot handle my emails, then why am I hiring a virtual assistant? Because your job as a virtual assistant, your job role is to take off the stress from my shoulders. The long and short of this profession is taking off the stress of your shoulders. Like, a lot of us that have domestic staff, we employ these staff to do our daily tasks at home, right? We employ these staff so that I can, we can rest. I remember the day my previous domestic staff, there was a particular day she didn't come to work for like two days. I nearly collapsed because that day my whole world turned upside down. So that is what you are as a virtual assistant. You are to take off the load from your boss's shoulder, their business loads, their company load, so that they can focus on some pressing area of the business, so that they can focus on uh, uh, um, growing and uh, developing the business further. While you are manning maybe the uh, administrative part, you are manning the technical aspect of the business, the internal part of the, the running of the business. So your job as a VA is to ensure smooth running of the day-to-day -day activity of um, your client's business. Then let's also look at what are the benefits of being a VA. V VA means virtual assistant. You cannot really overemphasize on the benefits of being a virtual assistant. The benefits of being a remote worker, the benefits of being a freelancer. First of all, flexibility. Yes. Like I keep telling people that since I I I never knew that one could live life the way they they should or the way they want to until I left the banking sector. Because Prior to this moment, my life was get ready, 6 a.m., leave the house, come back at night, sleep, 
Saturdays, like I don't do anything. I sleep all through. You, you cannot even catch me going to church or join or doing anything during the weekend except on Sundays. And on Sundays, I'm checking the time so that I can go and rest. That's the Saturdays that I don't have meetings, so uh, I can stay in church. But the Saturdays that maybe I go to the office for meetings, I will want to sleep all through Sundays. So then coming into this world where I decide the job I want to take on, I decide if I want to take on jobs that um, I would only work maybe at night because of my um, employer's time zone. I want to take on jobs that I can work maybe um, from 10 p.m. to like 3 a.m. to like 4 a.m. As a, as a remote worker, as a VA, you choose the time you want to work and who you want to work with. Because I keep telling people that as a VA, you are an independent contractor. You choose the particular client you want to deal with at a particular time. So you have flexibility. You have your time to yourself. So you can arrange it without having somebody to tell you, okay, so so time it was you know, if it must be so so time and so so time. If that if their time doesn't work well with you, you leave and move to the next client. Then the next thing is remote work opportunity, yes. It's no longer news that the world is becoming digitalized. Since the, um, since the outbreak of COVID-19, yes, people have been working remotely like way back in time. But remote work came to slap us in the face since the outbreak of COVID-19 because a lot of business now realize that they could work from the comfort of their home. A lot of business now realize that Oh, they are um, setting roles in their companies can be done by foreigners, can be done from a far country. A lot of business now got to realize that, yes, they can pay lesser. Because having you work on site, they have to pay you health insurance, leave, and there's a particular there's a particular amount that depending on your qualification, they cannot go lesser than. But during the outbreak of COVID-19, they now realize that, okay, there are some people in the third, uh, uh, third world country that even if I pay them $10 per hour, it's still cheap. It's still big. And to them, it is cheap. So instead of paying somebody from their place, uh, um, $25 per hour, $40 per hour. They'll bring it down to us and give us at $10 per hour, $8 per hour, $5 per hour, $15 per hour. And we will still rush it and shout that, oh, because when, by the time we change this money in our currency, it becomes big. So that's one of the reasons why uh, uh, a lot of companies now started recruiting people remotely and awareness now started coming up people now started getting more aware about this remote workspace the opportunities of working remotely so being a virtual assistant affords you the opportunity to work remotely cost savings yes as a remote worker and, and an ex-banker i would tell you that it has saved costs. I remember there was a particular time that when I was still working, I had to borrow money because we did. Then in my bank, you must check on your wardrobe like every six months. And our colors are mainly red and black. We do red, black, um, sky blue, black. So white, black, those were the things we were doing, especially red. And... We had to like buy things like on a regular. I, there was a time that should be like February 2022. Yes, I called my friends to borrow me money to go and do shopping to buy clothes just to use for work, new set of clothes. And since I started working remotely, I don't think I've gone to the market to really, even though, yes, it's affecting my wardrobe. 
in the sense that I mainly have polo and jeans right now, but it has saved me a whole lot of costs. Then going to work for me, back then in January um, 2022, February 2022, before I left work, I was going, I was spending 1,500 naira. That was even before this square thing went up. Then square was still one, 100 and something naira per liter. I was spending 1,500 naira on a daily basis for transportation. And today I can sit in my room and work. And at the end of the month or at the end of the week or bi-weekly, I get my pay. I'm not spending a dime on transportation. I'm not spending a dime on clothing. And a lot of persons that are practicing uh, 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 f- there are free a lot of freelancers and remote workers are also experiencing the same thing. I know that there is there's a myth out there that says remote workers don't have good clothes. Yes, that's true. Actually, we don't. But at least it's helping us save costs. <laughs> you don't mind my story. Then independence. As a VA, you can sit down here and travel. Last year. September, I traveled to go and see my mother. I didn't take leave. I wasn't on leave. I was still working for the whole month. But I traveled. Nobody knew I traveled. As long as I'm logging in, I'm doing my work, I'm doing my tasks. I do everything I need to do. You attend to your boss and everything. You are independent. That's one thing you enjoy as a VA or as a remote worker. And you choose who to work with because you are an uh, independent contractor. You choose who to work with. Like every time I do this, I keep referring people back to my first client I ever worked with. And that client was a bad client. That was in 2022. This guy was paying me, not mind my story, but guys, please, if you are following and if I should continue, just let me know in the comment section. So this in the chat section, guys, this guy was paying me $20 per week. Yes, he was an Asian. That's why I keep telling people that if you want to enjoy peace of mind, stay away from Asian clients. This guy was paying me $20 per week and he will insult the living day life out of my life. Any slight mistake, he will tell me how I am black and stupid. So, at this point, at that, there was a particular time I just sat down to myself and said, because of $20 per week, $80 a month, I'll keep receiving this mad insult upon insult, the kind of insult that my parents did not give to me because I am black or because he feels that he's paying me, he owns me. And one day I just woke up and told him that I wasn't interested in working with him anymore. And that's how the story ended. I moved on. I, at that time, I didn't have another job, but I kept searching. I kept looking out for until I met another client who, okay, that, the guy is a, is a UK citizen and that guy was actually awesome. Like, he was an awesome boss. Like, he's one boss I tell everybody to pray to work with. So you are independent. You choose who to work with and who not to work with. As long as you keep your, your you position yourself in a way that your clients get, or your prospective client gets to see you, you can choose to let go of a bad client that is giving you bad energy. Then global reach. As a VA, you have global reach. Like you see me say, I've worked with Asian, I've worked with somebody from the UK, I've worked with somebody from the US, I've worked with somebody from Austria, yes. I've not worked with too many clients, but the few that I've worked with, that they were like beyond my shores beyond the shores of Nigeria. We all know that if I was still in the bank, I may not have had, I will not, except I travel out, have had the opportunity to work with these guys in their company, except I jackpot. 
So being a VA gives you the opportunity to, like, it gives you global reach. So you can work with anybody from around the world without jackpotting at the moment. Then when you now gather enough money and you now decide to jackpot, you cannot jackpot with your full chest. So guys, let's continue. Don't mind that. Then skills enhancement. As a remote worker, as a VA. Guys, are you following? It's feeling quiet in here. Let me know from the chat section. Can you see? Somebody said they can't see my screen. No. Okay, okay, okay. That was an old message. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the energy. So we say skill enhancement. As a remote worker, as a VA, you are always on your toe to enhance at every given point. Because if you do not enhance your skill, as in express will leave you, like you'll just be there and, because in this space we are in, the world keeps developing every day. New technology comes up every day and the stakes become higher. So as the stakes get higher, you as a remote worker should also, um, go higher when it comes to learning, when it comes to acquiring new skills. You follow the pace, you run with the pace, you run with it, that's what we talk about, um, uh, uh, skill enhancement being one of the benefits of being a VA. You, you learn every day because today your boss can decide to lay you off because okay, they might say, okay, you are not good with so, 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 so aspects something a new technology just came out and you are not good with such technology so they now decide to lay you off and get someone who is good in that technology so being a va with a lot of spare time in your hand you are at an advantage you are at an advantage because you have the time and the opportunity to always learn, to always acquire, like to always take courses and develop yourself. Then reduce stress. I would not lie. Working as a VA and working remotely has really, really reduced my stress. Like before now, I used to look older than my age. Like you see me on my face wrinkled when I'm thinking of how many million I should be bringing into the bank and how many... I'll go and start disturbing some big clients to come and collect loan when they don't need loan. Like, and it's not even 10, 10 era loan, loans of hundreds of hundreds of millions. Every month is from one circle to the other. Circle of bringing in money, giving out money, making profit for the bank. One circle, it was boring and stressful. And since I left, or rather, since they pushed me out to greatness, yes, let me use that. Since they pushed me out to greatness, I have had reduced stress. Because if I need more money, it's just for me to work on myself, position myself rightly for more clients. Then career diversity. Like when I was making my introduction, I forgot to tell you guys what I studied. I actually studied science laboratory technology, biochemistry option. And after graduation, I started working in the bank. After NYC and all that, I started working in the financial institution and phew, they moved me out. And today I'm in tech. So it gives you the opportunity to diversify. It gives you the opportunity to, to diversify. So um, let's look at, even while we've looked at the benefits of um, being a uh, virtual assistant, we also have skilled required because it's 
you just can't wake up one morning and say, hey, oh, I'm a VA. And you start operating as a VA. There are a lot of skills required for you to be a virtual assistant. But for tonight's class, we are going to look at a few. Yeah, the skill you have as a virtual assistant determines the kind of VA that you are. So let's look at um, just a few. So we have here graphic design skill, which is one of the skills we'll be looking at today, graphic design, like simple graphic design for every VA. Then communication skill, whether you are a tech VA, an administrative VA, a creative VA, you must be good when it comes to communication. You must be able to communicate. It's, it's one of the major um, skills of being a virtual assistant. Adaptability skill. Yes, you are working on your own. You are not being supervised. You are unsupervised. You should be able to like adapt fast and quickly make quick adjustments to change in plans, change in schedules, change in everything. So be adaptability skills, time management skills. No client will want to employ somebody who is messy, somebody who doesn't keep the time, somebody who doesn't know how to manage and plan your life. So first of all, before you become a virtual assistant to a client, you need to be a virtual assistant to yourself. You need to be able to manage yourself. You need to be able to like organize yourself before you can organize a client. So then we have the data entry skills. Don't let this scare you. Like you need to understand simple data entry, majorly how to use spreadsheets, how to use Google and Microsoft uh, products. Um, you need to, okay, you need to be creative. Yes, you need to have a creative mindset. You need to have a creative mindset. You need to, uh, you need to be coordinated. You need to understand perfect coordination and planning as a VA for you to work for somebody and plan for somebody. You need to be able to coordinate yourself, first of all, and plan your own life. So, and like we all said before, like I said before, research. Research skills cannot be overemphasized. Multitasking, like sometimes, where sometimes you can just be called upon to do, you can just be called upon to do a, B, C, D at the same time. So you need to be able to multitask. As to be a successful virtual assistant, you need to have a very good multitasking skills, project management skills, organizational skills, self-developmental skills, problem-solving mindset. No boss wants to employ somebody that cannot even solve problems, that don't even have the mindset to solve problems. Then let's look at, because we do, I said we were going to use just 30 minutes and I'm like 35 minutes overboard. Okay, let's look at type of virtual assistant. Like I said, I hope we are still following. Like I said, the, um, the skills you have and the type of clients you are working with determines the type of virtual assistant that you are. So you have the chatbot VA, you have the uh, customer service representative, that's where we have the telemarketers, the uh, uh, um, inquiry officers, inborn and outborn officers. We have the personnel and the executive assistants, yes. I call them the professional house help or <laughs> you know, baby. So you have the personal and the executive assistant. This one you attend to your clients personally, like you are their PA. You have the health virtual assistant. Like some people will say, 
I'm a nurse. I'm a med lab scientist. I'm a medical microbiologist. I want to do something in the digital line, but I do not want to really go outside my field. Yes. You're an engineer. You can be a virtual assistant to somebody in the engineering field, and you only assist them in that area. A medical virtual assistant, you only assist your, your boss in the medical line. A sales virtual assistant, this is what we call niching down. You only assist your boss in the sales line. You are a sales expert. Then you have the social media VA. That's like the most popular one. And that's the one like a lot of business recruits like every day. Everybody needs somebody to manage their social media handle for them. Then you have your project management virtual assistant. You have your administrative virtual assistant. Like we have three most popular type of VA that really gets employment every day. Like you have the uh, no four most popular customer service, administrative, social media, and personal or the executive um, virtual assistant. So. Now we understand like a few benef benefits of being a VA. We now know like a um, we now know like a few opportunities available for us as a VA. We now know some of the type of virtual assistant. So now let's look at tools. Okay, now I know what a virtual assistant is. I know okay type of virtual assistant. So what are the tools? required for me i know the skills okay what are the tools required for me to be a virtual assistant yes virtual assistant tools are like so much but we are going to like list a few you can still make research there are so much you have the zendex you have the intercom i don't think i have those here you have zendex you have intercom you have hubspot you have your slack all these are CRM tools. The Zendex, Intercom, Hotspot, they are uh, CRM tools. So we have your Slack, they are all communication tools. Your Trello, then you have your um, Google Drive, which is your uh, knowledge management tools or information tools. Your um, calendar, Canva, yes. A lot of businesses, a lot of businesses now embraces Canva. There, are, there are a lot you can do with Canva that you can you you would not even imagine. So, and a lot of businesses has embraced the use of it. So that's why it's a part of VA tools. Canva can do crazy designs. Then you have what we are using now: the Zoom and the Google Meet. Um, your Google Suits in general, your Google Sheets, Google Form, and all. Then you also have Monday.com. Monday.com is also a communication tool. Yes, you say, you know, you work remotely, you work virtually. So um, these tools help you communicate with the, uh, the company body where you have different departments, but these departments are all virtual, like. They are all virtually arranged in these tools. So then we have the OneDrive. Your OneDrive is the same thing as your Google Drive. The difference is that Google Drive is from Google. OneDrive is from Microsoft. Microsoft, Google is always matching Microsoft with any, any product they produce. They come up with, Google comes up with his own. Then we have your Asana. Then... We have um, Apollo. They are all uh, virtual assistant tools. Apollo is a lead generation software. Then we have the Get Prospect, a lead generation software where you can generate amazing leads, thousands of leads for your businesses, for your clients' businesses, and so on and so forth. You have so many tools. Like You cannot say that you want to learn all the tools at once. Like most times when you get a job and you get onboarded, there's something they call the onboarding process. 
and you get onboarded into oh some people joined in let me just drop this sorry guys let me copy the link and some people joined in the group Okay, yes, we have that. Okay, when you get a job and you get onboarded into the organization, you get introduced, that's what they, they mean by onboarding, introduced and trained. The company will tell you what tools they use, what tools they make use of in the, uh, in the business, and they introduce you to it. They teach you. Like, I remember the first time I heard about Snowvo. It was a client that taught me how to use it. I undergo a one-week training and all the tools they use for that business, I was taught them, A to Z. I only knew like two prior to joining them. So, because a lot of you might get scared that, oh, there are so many tools here and I don't, just know a few, know the major ones. And the major ones that uh, uh, um, you need to understand as a VO that is necessary for you, like the most popular tools, you know them. And so that when you go for interview, like, okay, what and what do you know? What can you use? You can mention like at your fingertips, a few that you can use. And certainly the company might not be using all those tools, maybe to run their own operation. And set it because they know that, okay, and they've seen your performance and they know that, okay, this person can do this. This person can make use of this. This person can also do that. So they will be uh, convinced that, okay, okay, maybe where they worked for, they've done, they, they've been using this and all that. They've not been introduced to this. And they'll take you through a training. Most organizations take their uh, employees through trainings. So having all the tools packed up in your head piled up in your head is not necessary so just know the basic then let's look at common problems that um va is faces what are the common problems number one biggest problem of a virtual assistant is finding clients every virtual assistant have an issue with how do i get clients Yes. How do I um, balance my work and life since I work from home? Um, lack of experience and portfolio. Yes, is also a major problem. Uh, relying on freelancing sites is also a major problem. Client retention. Now you've gotten the client. How do you even keep those clients? Is one big problem of uh, VA's faces. And first of all, let's tackle them. How do you get clients as a VA? Like I keep telling people that clients are everywhere. Even in your, uh, um, what's on your WhatsApp status, clients are there. Getting clients, first of all, depends on you. Depends on your knowledge and expertise and your positioning. First of all, if you know your onions, you know what you are doing and you position yourself rightly, then getting clients is it's like a, a walkover. Because by the time you know what you're doing and you position yourself out there, you come out there and position as, outside from the freelancing site, you come out there, be uh, position yourself strategically on your social media post, um, uh, people's comment section helping good brands big brands to solve their issues like solve the challenges that their customers may be having simple challenges on their comment section just position yourself rightly and these clients come to you then relying on freelance sites like I tell my students that okay tomorrow what of if our so-called almighty freelance site crash. Where do you fall back from? So, yes, you get jobs on freelance sites, but freelancing sites is not sustainable. So that's where the positioning comes to play. Then we talk about um, 
work-life balance. I need to round this up shortly. We talk about work-life balance. How do you balance your life? Like a lot of freelancers, especially those working on a per hour basis, they will think that, okay, they want to cheat their boss. They don't know that the tracker that your boss, the timer you are used to tracking your work time is actually calculating and calculating your clicks and screenshotting your screen without you even knowing. They will, they will turn on their timer and say they are working, but yet they are doing other things in the house only to deceive themselves at the end. But how best do you balance this thing? Is a is a new phase, is a new career that uh, requires you to understand how to balance, okay, so so time to so so time, I want to face my life. So so time to so so time, I want to work at home, have a dedicated workspace. That workspace that if you are a mother, your children will know that okay, this place is out of bound. A dedicated workspace that you can sit down and work without getting distracted. That's one of the ways to balance work life, your work and your private or your personal life. Then retaining clients. One of the biggest ways to retain clients outside of attitude is performance. Your delivery time, like when they give you projects, how fast do you deliver? How well do you, do you perform those projects? Do you pay attention to details? Do you, uh, uh, um, are you the type that have this problem solving mindset? Are you proactive? Are you self-reliant? These are the tools, or rather, these are the skills. These are the soft skills that can help you keep clients. Like I keep telling people that clients are everywhere, but good clients are hard to get. But when you get a good client, just the same way that people will say when you get a good woman or when you get a good man, do everything within your power to keep them. Especially when you are working for foreigners, these guys requires excellence at its peak. They can frustrate you sometimes. But you being able to be like on your toe at every moment and tell yourself that, ah, I die here. I won't let your frustration get to me. I won't let the stress get a better part of me. Helps you keep your clients uh, uh, helps you retain your client. So most times when you do an excellent job, I'm sorry, an excellent job, your client tends to come back. Your client tends to come back like, um, that was like two weeks ago, yes. A client that I did not finish his project because of some restrictions in Nigeria in 2022 chatted me to find out if Nigeria has lifted our bans and we still have restrictions in that particular area of his project that he still wanted to work with me. And unfortunately for me, the restriction was still very much active. But there are a lot of people out there, especially the Philippines, that they don't want to even allow us rest in this internet space. But why did he choose to remember me? Yes, because I made a remarkable mark. I left my fingerprint in his heart. By the few times, the few moments we worked together, I did an excellent, who is drawing now? Oh, Jesus, my whiteboard. I did an excellent job for these clients. So guys, um, let me stop sharing now. Let me stop sharing now. So, um, these are, we just actually, okay. So I did an excellent job for this client and how many years down the line, he came back for more. He came back for more. So if you, if you are the type that 
pursue excellence and do what is right. So retaining a client will never be a problem for you as a virtual assistant. So for now, this is where we are going to stop this section. Let's drop one or two questions before we go into designing. Just one or two, one or two questions, small, small questions. Okay, what basic tools should one have? Okay, somebody is saying, what basic tools should one have? The basic tools you should... Okay, what basic tools, not should one have? What basic tools should you know how to use, first of all, not have? Goggle suits. Understand how to use Google suits. Understand how to use Canva. Understand data entry. Understand how to use the most common CRM tools like Slack, like Trello, like OneDrive, um, uh, Monday.com, like Asna. These are the like the most common uh, tools. So understand, just have a basic knowledge of how to use them. So please describe this VA assistance again. I should go back again. No, we have the recorded version. Do not worry. So you can, you can like go over it again. Well done. Wondering if you can explain the use of the basic tools. If I can explain the use of the basic tools, that is for the next class. How can one position? I know I mentioned something about social media and out, outside your freelancing platforms. I mentioned something about social media and um, helping out businesses in their comment section, solving problems. Like I would always say, money, uh, money goes with people, or rather people carries money. And what attracts people into your life is you solving their problem. So if you are a problem solver, certainly money will run after you. Oh, your client, what you can do for them. Okay, this person that said you get to tell your clients what you can do for them. So, okay, if you tell them your skill. And, okay, first of all, a client is needing a VA. The client is going to post the type of VA they want. Assuming you don't know anything about technical virtual assistant, which is which is those tech guys, these very senior tech savvy, you know, robotics and the um, artificial intelligent guys. You don't know so much about this tech thing. And a client wants a tech VA. You have no business in applying. And assuming you have no business in applying. So maybe now a client wants a personal assistant or a general administrative assistant or a social media manager, you know how to do so, 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 and so, and so, you know you have an idea in this field. You apply for the job. You go through the test. You do the test. When they bring maybe a particular software that they use, they know that the, you have thousands of software that you possibly cannot know all. Even the clients doesn't even know all. You can just tell them that, okay, this particular software that you are using, I do not know how to use it. Or... If they post it during the uh, before you apply for the job, you can just brush through, have the general knowledge. So when you go for the interview, you're like, okay, I only have general knowledge of this software. I can, um, uh, but I'm a fast learner, blah, 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 blah. So let's take one or two questions before we move. Time is really not on our side. <laughs> this one is asking me how much did my UK client pay me? Pay. Do you want to now pay me? It was a $5,000 project. So if you want to pay me, I can send you my account number so that you would, you would summer the thing. Okay, can you group? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, okay, and let's see the another question. Okay, yes, we talk about experience. Thank you for this question. Inform, if I got that right, informa, right? Thank you for those questions. Um, you said if um someone who does not have experience, if they can actually do this. Like I keep I tell my students every day that you have experience, but you do not know it. You know how to do data entry. You manage your social media accounts. All you just need to do is be intentional. You already know the niche you want to go into. Be intentional about that your niche. And every day, give yourself tax and build your portfolio with the tax you give yourselves. So you develop the experience on your own. Must I have a computer to be a VA? Thank you, happiness. Now you guys are asking the right question. Compu having a laptop is necessary, but um, if you do not have a laptop for a start, you can start up without having a laptop. My first, when I newly started, all through 2022, I didn't have a laptop and I was working and getting paid. I got a laptop my first laptop in 2023, early 2023. That was when the first laptop came. In short, when I started, I was working with Infinix Hot 8. In short, that, that phone joined one of the reasons my clients insulted my life. Because in the middle of the job, the phone crashed. Then I now got another phone, Hot 11. Then I started working. So you can make good money. You can make as much as... You can be an administrative virtual assistant without having a laptop. Basically, you, you need a laptop when you want to go into read data properly. So if you know you do not have a laptop, do not take jobs that goes into read data, data analyzing and data entry. Take jobs that are within email management, scheduling, traveling, uh, travel, uh, travel management, administrative management, social media management, these jobs can be done without a laptop, completely without a laptop. So can this job be done with smartphone? Yes, I just said that. I just talked about how to build portfolio by intentionally. Um... Okay, guys, um, that will be all for the question so that we can have a lot of time because, sorry, we'll be designing shortly. So um, our graphic design coach is on. Let me just um, give her. Okay, yes. So let's welcome our graphic design coach. So Coach Chivoza, please, you can unmute yourself. I've given you the hosting rights. We do not have much time so that we can just, we can make something good out of tonight. Thank you so much, Mr. Redefined. Thank you. Oh, Chibuza, can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Coach um, Chibuza. Sorry, I needed to in my screen. Yeah. Thank you, Coach Chibuza. You took, thank you for, first of all, officially taking my 30 minutes. I'm going to sue you for that. You're going to pay me. You're going to pay me. You know, our class is usually very long and um can you come? Now you want you want me to, to rush my designs. But the good thing is sorry, don't don't rush it. Please. Sorry, my hands are up. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Just kidding. The good thing is that we spent that um extra 30 minutes learning. So how are you doing, everyone? Let's see some fire, some hot, hot emojis in the charts in the okay, comment session, chat session. Anywhere you want to put it, chat. Just let me see some. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. So my name is Chibuzo. 
yes, you can call me Coach Chibuzo, you can call me Mommy Chibuzo, whatever you want to call me. My name is Chibuzo. I love the sound of my name. And for those of you that do not know the meaning, it means God is the way. So I love the sound of my name. And besides, it's Easter. <laughs> Thank you, goodness. You're good. Right. So it's Easter, compliments of Easter, everyone. And um, okay, without wasting much time, I have to be very fast. Um, before, oops, I forgot to turn up my notification. Give me a second. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Fine. Okay, so um, my name is Chibuzo. Um, by way of introduction, I would say Chibuzo is a... Chibuzo is um, a multifaceted woman. Yes, I'm a multifaceted woman. I have a lot of faces. So I, I work with, um, first of all, um, let me just do a brief introduction. I first of all keep my nine to five, which by the way, I'm about leaving. I, <laughs> I'm on my retirement journey already. Yes, you may want to ask retirement this young year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm already in my, uh, um, on my retirement journey. Uh, I work with the Ministry of Defense. I am also a realtor. Um, I am a realtor. I, we sell houses, we sell lands, we sell real estate, basically. Um, I am also a, a wife, a loyal wife a, <laughs> to an amazing husband. Now, what's my way good? And they did loyal to my be so fine. I am also a mother, a mother of four adorables. I have four beautiful daughters, and anytime from now they may come running. Um, so um, basically, I do a lot of things, a lot of things. I have my side business where I have my uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I have my side business also. So I have a lot of so many side businesses. So the, my, my major thing I do are my nine to five and my real estate. Then um, my side business is there. Um, I am also a designer, a graphic designer, and I also coach um, graphic designing. So basically that is who Chibuzo is. And that is why I say I am a multifaceted woman. And um, I'm a lot of things. <laughs> I can be everything to everyone. So um, I said all that not to just say who I am, but to tell you that if me, Chibuzo, can do this and earn from the internet space, you too can. I am also a VO. Yes, I got trained by Coach Chiwendu. She's my, she's my, I am an alumni of the Jazz Digital Academy, that, the Jazz Dig Digital Hub. I am an alumni, I'm a VA. So I still have to take gigs every now and then as I can get the time to do it. So it's, um, it's a whole lot. My life is a roller coaster. <laughs> and I am liking it. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it. So without taking, without so much ado, let me just go straight, um, straight into why we are here. So I am here today to teach you graphic designing. And the only app I'll be talking about I'll be teaching you that with is Canva. Why Canva? Canva because Canva is one, um, sorry, I live close to a mox and this is their prayer time. So ignore the noise, please. I hope my mic is on. Okay, so my voice should be loud enough. So um, Canva because Canva is a very versatile app that can, that can replace a lot of apps. Oh, great, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, feedback. Canva is an app that can replace a lot of apps. Great, thank you. It's, you can use Canva in place of your um, Adobe. You can use Canva in place of so many apps. Let me not even waste time trying to mention them. So, so many apps and, and you'll be fine. You can use Canva to create your presentations. You can use Canva to 
Canva rather to create invoices for your business. You can use Canva to, 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 to publish your ebook. You can use Canva to um, publish your, your landing page. A lot of things that you can do with Canva. It is not just to create designs. But for the purpose of this class, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create designs with Canva. So that's the minimum you can do with Canva. And that's what I'm going, I'm going to be teaching you today. The fact that it's the minimum doesn't mean it is the simplest thing to do, no. And um, in my last class, I heard um, someone said, hey, but Canva, uh, <laughs> you, you, you cannot get something nice with Canva free version. Yes, I, I am a very strong advocate for Canva's free version, even though I now use the pro version, but I'm a very strong advocate for the free version because I used the free version for about three years before I ever started um, 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 subscribing to the pro version. The reason I'm subscribing to the pro version is because I need to do a lot more with Canva, not because it is not sufficient enough for designs. Somebody said they can't hear me again. Is that okay? Is that, is that, is that true? Yes, no, we can hear you. Okay, so if you can't hear me, I believe it is your network, huh? please. Please, you may, oh, okay, you may want to step out and step back in, okay, so you can hear me. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the feedback. So you can use Canva free version for a lot. So on this class today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can design with um, um, if, with a template, how you can um, uh, um, edit a template to suit you. And you, I'm also going to be teaching you how you can design a, a, a flyer or any design at all from scratch. But before we go to the practical, why do you need to learn Canva? Yes, why do you need to learn? Because we are looking at how you can become a VA. So I'm going to be talking in the light of a VA, right? Now you can use Canva to run your business. Yes, you can use Canva to run your business. You can use Canva to schedule, to, to create um, um, designs for a whole month. You can use Canva to create um, pictures. Um, what's it called? You can, use, you can even edit your pictures with Canva. You can, you can create flyers. You can create your, your graphics with Canvas with Canva rather, not Canvas. You can also create your, um, like I said, landing page. You can create use Canva to create a landing page and publish a landing page. You can also use Canva for your presentation. So instead of using the usual PowerPoint and all that, you can adopt a template on Canva and edit it. I love to design from scratch. I am, I am also very good at editing anything to suit what I want. You can also use Canva to, to do a whole lot. There's a whole lot you can do, create short videos. There's a whole lot you can do with Canva. And all these, you'll be doing this for your clients, right? So as a VA, you'll be, using, you'll be doing this for your clients. My last um, session, my, some of my students just um, uh, finished early this month. I, I just closed the course early this month and I have feedback from one of them she's not even so good she's not even so good she's not the best student in my class she's nowhere near the best she's average like very good average right she's nowhere near the best but just as the course was ending and she just posted it on her um one of her timelines i'm, I'm not sure if it was facebook or if, um or uh, uh um whatsapp or wherever but she just posted it on her timeline and somebody inboxed her and that day she got a job for twenty thousand naira. yes she's from in crossover state she got a job for twenty thousand naira to design 20 flyers and that job is a recurrent job that she'll be doing every month so every month 20k don't show for her do we get that's in this economy that's from one person now you cannot imagine how many people you can. I'll be I'll be in the I'll be in the in the um, in the group. I'm in the group. I'm not sure I'm in the second group, so I'm not sure which of the groups you are in. However, Coach Chiwendo is going to um, um, connect you to me if you need to see me personally. But I think everything you may need me for will be addressed here. 
So uh, that's just, I was saying, giving the story of uh, my, my um, student. And that was just one, one deal. And 20K don't show for the next couple of months. We don't know how it's going to, of course I needed to up her designs for her and she was very grateful. But then 20K every month, don't show. Added to whatever she's earning, added to whatever more she can earn, right? So these are the things that you can do. So without spending more, oops, we have just 45 minutes. So I'll have to just stop talking here. Sorry, sorry, my stand. Okay, I'm just going to dislodge this from the stand. One second. I'm going to dislodge my phone from the stand. Turn off my notifications so that I do not um, disturb the class. And then I'm going to share my screen. So no much talk. I am, I am a person of plenty do small talk. Okay. Notifications turned off, and I want to share my screen. So, um, Coach Chinwe, I need you to be on the call. Are you there? Yes, I am. Is your mic on? All right, great. So, I need you, like, um, to be my class monitor. <laughs> You'll be my VA for this class. Let me share my screen and move to Canva. So confirm that you can see my screen. Yes, you can see your screen. Ah, see fine girl, a big. God shall they create. <laughs> Don't mind me, oh. yes, I blush. I, I admire myself a lot. Because if you don't, no one will. I used to be very, um, what's the word? Let me not bore you, Jerry. So here, this is Canva. This is my Canva um, home screen. Now, what you do, let me start from the beginning. You download the app called Canva. You can do that later after this class. It's, it's okay. You download the app. Let me show you the app. So you see the app to, that's the fourth line to my right, to the right, okay, I don't know how you will know, Start to the edge. So on the fourth line coming down, the fourth row, the fifth column. So I, if you can see that, that's the logo of the app. Now you see the logo opening here. That's the logo you will see on your, on your, um, what's it called? Your, Play Store. So whether it's your Apple or your Google Play Store, you'll find the app there. So when you find the app, you when you open the app, it's going to show you, it's going to take you directly to where you can, um, where you can, continue and please help me. I don't know why the words keep in my mind today, this evening. <laughs> so where you can log in, I'll sign up. Ah, God have mercy. It's stress. I'll, I'll just have to take out time to rest. So where you can sign up for the app and you can sign up using your email, straightforward, no, no long processes, just the normal way you sign up using your any of your Google emails. That's the normal way you do this. And it's going to bring you to this screen. Now your screen may be a little bit different. Like I said, I've been using mine for about three years. So more than three years. So you can see um, it would have definitely changed to suit some some things uh -huh. so when we come here the two, like i said earlier we're going to be doing two things today we are going to be designing from scratch and we are also going to be designing using a template the first thing i want to do is to design using a template so that um we can have enough time to design from scratch and i'm going to be choosing a very simple design 
designing to create a design using a template is as simple as abc so you create the you choose the design that works for you if it's not already in the colors that you want you switch the colors you change the write-up you add, change the pictures it's just as simple as abc you can decide to remove some elements you can decide to add some elements it's as simple like i said as abc the main thing that you need to know is how to use your tools right and i'm going to be taking more time when i'm doing when i'm creating from scratch to show you how to use your tools so when i'm doing the templates now i'm not i'm just going to show you what you can do but i'm not going to waste spend much time doing that or, okay i'm just going to show you the possibilities so that we channel that much energy on creating from scratch because that's what once you can create from scratch i promise you you can create anything once you can create any design from scratch, right? once you can create a design from scratch, you can edit any template at all, right? So um, let's let's spend the, the 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 time and focus our energies on learning how to create from scratch because truly, really and truly, once you can do from scratch, you can do the templates. So I'm just going to choose now. Like I always tell people, when you want to uh, um, um, create a design, you have to understand what you are creating it for. So are you creating it for Instagram? If you're creating it for Instagram, there are, there are some orientations, there are some sizes of um, design size, canvas size. Okay, let me explain something. You know, when you are when you are going to create a design by yourself, not with an app, with your pen and brush, you're, you use a canvas, right? You use a canvas, a canvas sheet, or I don't know what it's called, but I know it's a canvas. So it's the same thing here. And you have to cut your canvas to size. So here is the same thing. You have to cut your canvas to size. So we have different sizes that are already pre-cut for us. So we have the Instagram post, both the square and the portrait. I'm going to show you the difference. You have the stories. The stories can be posted on your Insta stories, can be posted on your um whatsapp status can be posted on your facebook stories so that it's, it's a long one that fits into your screen you also have the um you also have uh, you, you can see me scrolling you see different flat, um templates that you can use you can you have the facebook post you have um flyers you have documents you have posters different you have thumbnails now the only the only design that would not fit into most often would not fit into other other um or every other platform is the thumbnail so the thumbnail is, is, you cannot use any other thing to make a thumbnail, neither can you use a thumbnail to fit into any other place, except because it won't fit, so except you just have to use it like that. But if you are looking at what will fit to screen, it wouldn't fit on all those other um, places. So like I said, you can also use the um, Canva to create collages, um, your business card, your birthday cards, invitation cards, um, a lot of things that you can do. So you see different templates are already here, pre, already pre-designed for you to just pick what you want and, um, and do that. So for this um, class, I normally do Facebook, um, Instagram posts, but for this class, let us do a flyer. So I'm going to pick, I just tapped on one of the flyers there. I don't know if you saw what I did. So we see here, let me go back so we see. So we see here we have flyer as one of the templates. So you can either scroll, scroll all the way down. You can tap on this um, arrow button to show you more options, but let's not waste time. Like I said, um, I'll just pick on any of the flyers here. I think this is a pretty easy one. It's easy, less write-ups and all that. Alternate, alternatively, if you click on a blank page, I'm going to show you all that when we are going for the next day. If we click on the blank page, it's going to also bring up um, um, templates that you can use. So here, here we are. Um, what, do, what do we want to do? Let me change this to today. Um, I hope you are not lost. Chi, please, Chimendu, can you help me get the feedback? Is anybody lost? They are following, following, okay. following. Okay, great. 
Like I said, I'm going to be doing much From explaining. From YouTube, but... guys, are you lost? Is anyone lost from YouTube? Sorry. So okay, continue. So let, We're following. Let, let me go ahead. So, so edit this. I'm just going to tap on whatever I want to edit, and I'm going to carry out the necessary action. For instance, this place that if this um this digital marketing that is reading here, I'll just tap on it. If you look at the bottom of my screen, you see a pop-up menu. You see edit, font, textiles, and all that, blah, 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 lots of them, right? So I'm just going to tap on edit. You can either tap on edit or you tap on the screen again. You see when you tap inside that um, highlight box that was given, it selects the entire text. And this only happens when you are changing it for the first time. If you have ever edited this place, it's not going to select the text. It's going to, the, the, your cursor will be at the end and you need to either continue or uh, um, erase what you have written before. So here I'm just going to write workshop. Right, um, two day workshop. Mm. Let's say um, digital workshop. Digital workshop, great. So here we have um, freelancing. I'm just putting on anything I like that comes to my mind here. It's, mind you, it's not a formal this um, work. So so here I'm just going to say let's leave this as it is. You can edit this. So like I said, you just tap on it and you do edit it. If you want to duplicate it, you see this box that popped up, you can just tap on it and duplicate. So I'm going to leave every other thing as it is. Let's assume I want to change the color. I'm going to change this color. Let's see. I tap on the blue. Now the blue is the main background. So I can change the color of that main background to black. Great. And change the color. I come here, tap on the yellow. The yellow is an element. And let me make it gold. Great. So you see, this is how you change the colors. Now to change the picture, this picture here is in a frame. This here is in a shape. There are two different things. You can see both of them are round, right? You can see both of them are round. Let's see, let me show you how you know. Now, how you know what is a frame and what is a shape? Let me do it again. Now I tap on this round white here. It picks on the circle, but when I move the circle, whatever is inside the circle does not move with the circle. That is to tell you that it is a shape, right? Now I tap on this round circle here also. And when I move it, the picture moves with it. So that's to tell you that it is a frame because the frame is always locked the picture is always locked into the frame. So when you pick the frame, everything moves with it. So to change the picture on the frame, you just tap on it and you come here, you see that the, 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 the pop-up menu at the, at the bottom had, uh, has changed. When, it, when we tap on a write-up, you see the pop-up is giving us, it's giving us to edit things that has to do with writing. But when we tap on a picture, you see the difference. It's either giving us to replace the picture, to, uh, to adjust the picture, to color, to change the color or whatever. So I'm just going to tap on replace and it's going to bring me to my gallery. My gallery automatically opens. So if I want to use a picture from my gallery, I can use a picture from my gallery. If not, I already have pictures that have been updated and let me look for a fine picture. So these are some of my clients that I've worked with. This is one of them have plenty pictures. This is another one of them. So, and as you can see, we have the jazz here. So I've worked with the jazz, I've worked with this gentleman here. So these are some of my clients that I have worked with. So let me look for the jazz um, picture. Now this is mine. Uh, okay, let me use me. So this is it. Great. So this is how you can change the picture. Like I said, every other thing I'm going to be showing you. So this is this is this for for this, right? This is just basically how it is done, but you have to do it in a formal way. But let's not waste time here. Let's go straight to designing from scratch. So I'm going to just leave here and go back to 
my screen. Now, to design from scratch, like I said earlier, you have to check what you are designing for. So what are we designing for? Let's assume we are designing for face for Instagram. So the most popular templates that you can use, the orientation rather, that you can use is the Instagram post, either the square or the portrait. That's because Instagram post could, it will enter anywhere except maybe a thumbnail, but it will fit into anywhere you want to put it. You can use Instagram post for your stories. You can use it for your status. You can use it anywhere. It doesn't have to cover the whole screen, but it's not going to cut out anything that you wrote that you that is in your flyer. But if you are using a flyer, a flyer size, and you want to go and post it on Instagram, it will not fit because some information on that flyer will be lost. So it is better to work with an Instagram post. Now, how do I take, how do I get, um, I can either come here and select either all here or scroll down to get this arrow. That's one way. Another way is that I can come to the bottom. You see this round plus button here. I tap on it. I tap on it, it brings me a list of all the possibilities I can work with, right? So you can see different things is bringing up invitation, phone, uh, wallpaper, video, blah, blah, blah. I'll just tap on the Instagram post. So those are the two ways it can bring you to this place. Now, when it brings you to this place, remember you can also tap from any uh, and template just the way we did the first time. When it brings you to this place, it automatically loads templates for you. If you want to load a template, you can. if you want to use a template, you can scroll and look for your preferred template. But remember, we are not using the template, so I'm just going to bring down this by dragging it down. And I have my blank screen. Now, I have my blank canvas to work with, and this is it. So what am I designing? Who am I designing for? What do I want to achieve? That is the next question to ask myself. Having already um, gotten the, temp, the the orientation of the paper, that is, you know, when you when you are working with your um, just the way you your papers on maybe your Microsoft, you're using you you are typing. You have you can you, you can change your orientation to whether it's landscape or portrait, right? So it's the same thing here. Also, I failed to mention that if you have your the measurement of your paper, like maybe you are a designer already, you already have the measurements, you can also custom your measurements and it's going to still bring you to the blank page here. Great, so how do we go about it? So the first things first, who are we designing for? What is their brand color? What are we designing? So to make everything easy, let me not stress my brain too much. I want to, somebody here, Please give me what you want to design. So which business do I want to design for this evening? I need a volunteer from the group. Coach Chinwen, please take a volunteer. If you want, please just in, uh, specify. In it has to be, it has to be very brief. It has to be, it doesn't have to be complicated. The last time I did for someone that has a chicken farm, a poultry, and that, that sells, you understand? So it doesn't have to be something something complicated, just something Wait, that is easy enough. For what do you want? Cosmetics, design flyer mm -hmm. for crutch. Do you want crutch? Um, we can do anything. Okay, let's go with units, crutch. Crutch, okay. So what's the name of your crutch? What's your brand color? What's your brand color, units? Please, we need to be fast, please. Eunice, if you want to work with us, be fast. Your brand color. Blue. Ah, that Blue. is not Eunice now. It's Eunice, okay, just send me a WhatsApp message. It's yellow. Her brand color is yellow. Send me a WhatsApp message now with your um business name. Okay, so let's have the business name. If you let's are not have... fast, we will do Lizzie, which is a real estate. Flyer. Real estate is even easier for me. <laughs> so if Eunice is not fast, Eunice and Lizzie send your information. The fastest is what we will do. Okay. 
Okay, so while we're at it, let's go and start looking for pictures that we can use for the crutch, right? So um, where we have, you see, if you look on that, if you look at the bottom of my screen, you find design elements, those are um, pop-ups. So design elements, rather than menus. So I'm just um, going to look for a picture. Yeah, I, I got, want... Sorry, we've gotten the information for the crutch. For the crutch, okay, fine. So we're going to use the crutch. So I'm going to leave the background as it is. A yellow background will not cut it. So I'm going to leave the background as white. Yellow background wouldn't be fine, except we want to do a black background and design with yellow. But we can always a, a, a tweak that when we get what we're looking for. So we are going to look for a picture of, so I'm going to scroll here and look for photos. Now your screen may not come out like mine. I use mine every day and I've been using mine for a while. So sometimes yours may stop at apps. You see this place I'm scrolling, right? You may scroll and it will stop at apps. When it stops at app, click on app. You will see other things will come up, right? So I'm going to look for pictures and I'm just going to tap um, fresh. Mm. Okay, so here are things that you can do. Do not forget that you are using that you are using the free, you may be using the free version. And you can see that almost all the pictures that I'm getting here are pro. So you oh. can go to your Google, you can go to your Google, search for crutch picture, search, search for a picture of crutch of a crutch. You download your preferred picture. Okay, let me do that yeah. for us. So I'm just going to come to my Google search and I'm going to enter crutch. Crutch. And I'm going to tap on images. Fine. So we see I have good pictures. Which one should I download? Let's take this one. That kid. I'm coming. Let me lay my baby down. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to download it great so i have the picture now saved in my phone i'll go back to my canva and i'm going to import it here so how do i import it here let it load network so i'm just going to come here and go to my gallery i'll go to my gallery here and i'll find that picture i just downloaded it's right here add it to my page good now don't never mind everything will come together i think we should use a back black background so a black background would work oh no it's too dark let's return to a white background good so let's say what's the name of your crutch jeff marvin i think so jeff marvin like j-e-p M A V E N. Never mind. I'm going to be doing everything in a scatter scatter way. It's it will all come together. Jeb Marvin. M -A -V -E -N. Yes. Marvin. This is it. Yes. yes. Jeb Marvin. What? Crutch. Good. Mm. So I'm going to bring this here, put it here. Um, so admission we are calling now. for admission. It's currently admitting, right? It's currently open. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you do. So it's currently open. Give me your your what you want me to sell. Eunice, what do you want us to sell? So while you are on it, let me be editing this. This will go back to a black background. Now, do you know how we've been doing this so far? No. Let's get questions. They don't know. Okay, I forgot I'm, I'm going too fast. So how did we get here? I'm just going to delete it and go again. 
So you all saw how we got the picture. I explained that. How did we get the write-up? You see this um, instruction box here, menu box rather, I tap on text. I selected the one I wanted. Subtitle is bigger for me. So I use that as my title. Jeb Marvin Crutch, right? So this is how we got it. Now, two things I can do. I can either duplicate this by just, you see this pop-up. When you tap on anything, this pop-up will come up. You see the pop-up with the bin in it. So I can just tap on duplicate, which is the, the one before the bin and come here, bring it down, come to this place while it is still highlighted, come here, tap on edit and edit it. Please read out what, uh, what you need to send. Okay, um, we admit children of zero to two years, from zero to two years. We have professional child minders with early years experience who takes care of children we love. Of children we love, or of children because we love them. Because if you say we have children you love, what about the one you don't love? Of children with love, with love. Oh, with love, okay. Of uh, We have professional... Minders, with, minders with early years experience. Who takes care of children with love? Great. Location. So, Please put in your hold address. On, hold on. Let her send that. I'm still working on something. Send in so, your address so that we can. So I'm going to bring space in here. So I'm going to reduce this. You see, you, you see the way I dragged it? It's just dragging. Uh, somebody is saying you can't see the screen. Okay, for the person that can't see our screen, just turn off and come back on. You get, it's your network. So for the rest of us, do we see the way I move this? I just see, you see this, the, the rectangle where my text is in, right? Uh, so sorry, 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 excuse me, ma. Sorry, yeah. one minute. Apa, this on Zoom, on um, YouTube. Can you see the screen? Please, if you can see the screen, just say it in the chat session so, so that I will know that you can see the screen, please. Okay, okay. let me go. Okay. So the I, four right. corners, the four corners, we have the circles, and on the sides, we have a rectangular um stuff right so i'm just going to drag that rectangular stuff to adjust the size of of my of this right up right i want to, uh, to adjust the wideness not the size great so i bring it i do that and i move it here i'm going to move it here now i'm going to center this jet marvin and make it bolder it's all going to come together at the end of the day. So I'm going to just come here and make it bold. Great. Good. So what did I do? See, I scrolled, I scrolled um, to the side and I looked for formats. You see bold. Now that same format, I'm going to use it to, to edit this again. Tap on format. And you see that it's, uh, it's um, centralized. I want to move it to the left. So I move it to the left. Great. So this is what I want. Now I want to add a frame so that this picture can be well settled. So I'm just going to come here and look for elements. So I tap on elements and I'm going to scroll down, scroll down elements to look for a frame. And I love working with this round frame and that is what I'm going to choose. It just makes, there's a way it makes the, the, the um, work turn out very fine. So now I have my frame. I'm going to just tap on this picture, right? And I'll move it into the frame. You see, it has merged with the frame. So I'm going to bring it back here. Great. So everything is coming up. It's coming out nicely. Um, I can decide to add the style to the frame. You see, you see, the for everything you choose, right? The 
the pop-up at the bottom keeps changing. It depends on what you uh, what it, it can do for you. So I'm going to add border width. I'm going to add border width to the frame because I want to make it a little bit more colorful. So that border width, I'm going to use it to add kind of color to the frame. Now I can now change this to yellow. You said your color is yellow. So I'll change the right, the, um, the heading to yellow. I don't know the shade of yellow. I think this shade of yellow is fine. And I'm going to change the background to black. So is it now all coming together? Let me do it to white first and change this to white. So I'm going to change this to white and then background to black. So is it now all coming together? Yes, it is. Is it coming, is it coming out nicely? So I'm going to just add some elements to this. I'm going to add some elements to this mm, here. What do I want to add? Elements. And um, I want to just pick tiny um, arrows. Let me see. Okay. I think this is okay. I'm going to use this, this shape. I don't want to write anything in it. I'll just make it small, tiny, tinier, and bring it here. So it is for you to know what is, is like um, bullets. I'm using it as bullets, right? When you are writing, you use bullets to, to highlight your points. So that's what I'm doing with this. Uh, I want to duplicate that and bring it down here also and make sure that it is aligned with the first one. And also, okay, so you didn't see how I moved it. How to move your, whatever you are using, your elements or even your write-ups, right? So you tap on what you want to move. You can either use your hand to drag it or this plus button to drag it. But the best way to align it so that it's, it's well aligned. For instance, you see it's difficult for me to move it. Okay, it has settled in, but I wanted to just use, tap it, come down, scroll to the down, scroll to the edge, take this nudge, you see the nudge here, tap on it, and I use that to move it up, down, left, or right, as the case may be. You see, it is aligned now. I have used that to align it just the way I want it. Good. So for this, I don't, what do I do to this now? Okay. Let me um, let me take this up a little. So I'm just going to nudge it upward. Great. So now I said I wanted to add some color to the border. So border color, I'm going to turn it to yes. So um. Um, I don't like this font. I don't like the font style. So I'm going to change the font to something, something else. Nah. So I'm just going to look for something finer. Are we following, please? Where did you get the font? Like, where did you click to get to the font? Yes. One. On that, that, that's the pop-ups. They always come up at the bottom. So when you tap on a text, the, the pop-ups that will come up for a text, that, they are different from the, from the pop-up that will come up for a picture, right? So okay. for a picture, 
who has um sure they are just just observe what comes up they are different for everything a different com, um, pop up comes up so you from this pop up you see fonts after edit you see fonts here so and that's where said, the okay sorry some persons also said that they didn't see how you got the frame okay i'm going to go back to frame meanwhile let me look for a fine font for this first okay i think this is working gagaline i think it's working it's not very formal like the other one. Good. So to know how I got the friend, follow me again. So I tap outside my Canva, still on my work screen, right? Now my Canva is this black box. That's the, the page I am designing on. Now when you tap outside it, it is going to give you the normal um setting the normal um menu so you tap on elements you tap on elements you see design element text gallery brand blah 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 a lot more so you tap on elements when you get elements let me close this arrow good so this is the home screen for elements right now you scroll till you find frames. There are different shapes of frames you can use, different shapes. The most common I like to use is this round one, and that is where I got it from. So when you tap on it, it applies it to the screen. I don't want to do that again to avoid um, uh, uh, um, so much, voila. Okay. Okay, so let me, let, me, let me do it and add another picture to it. So I'm just going to go back, tap on elements, tap on, frame let me add another picture so I, now i have a frame but i don't have a picture i'm just going to come here again tap there and call, look for photos so i'm going to look for pictures of um let's say crutch we look for a picture of crutch before so let's use this one or we can use this single boy. Which do you think is better? The plenty children or the single boy? Single boy. The single boy, great. Now I have a picture, I have a frame. I just move the picture into the frame. And it's, it's, um, it's what's the word? Okay, so basically this is how it is. Now, our page is small. I didn't envision that we we're going to use something like this. We would have used the portrait. The portrait is longer. So I'm just going to move all this upward. I would have preferred to use a black boy, but I cannot go a black child. I don't want to go back to um, YouTube. Let me add it. Oh, sorry. Google. Google. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to go back to Google to find another picture. So basically, this is it. Now, I want to send this frame behind the other one. Watch what I will do. My frame is already highlighted, right? Now, I come here. I just scroll. I scroll, and I look for position. So there's transparency, lay layers, and position. So I come to position, I tap on backward. You see, it has gone behind the other one. If you tap backward again, it's going to, okay, it's not going to go behind anything because that's the, that's the, the, the clinical. Now I'm going to change the border color to white, great. So we don't have space on this design. Let me reduce. I didn't envision that we'll be doing this much, so. I want space for us to be able to add her details. So um, what's her details? Okay. Um, um 10, Chikwa, Chik, sorry, Chikwe Streets. Okay. So I can add that here. So I come here again, tap outside, and I look for text, come to text, um, heading, so address. So 
ten. Chikwe. Yes, Chikwe Streets. Rumo Kushi, if I get that right. That's the Port Harcourt. Yeah. I'm not seeing what I'm writing. Okay. No. Chikwe, yes. Rumo, Rumo, Rumo Kushi. Rumo Kushi. Rumo, not. Okay, Chikwe Street, yeah. Uh -huh, Rumo what? Kushi, like K U K R U S S H I. Rumo Kushi. Uh huh. Portacot River State. Okay. So I'm going to just bring this here and bring it to the side here. Now I'm going to come back here again to this format and I'm taking it to the side. Um, I also want to reduce the size. So I'm going to, no, the space in between. So I'm going to just come here and tap on spacing and reduce the space in between. Haven't achieved that. I think this is good, good. So what are her digits? Your digit, please. Do you have a Facebook address? Do you have a Facebook page? Or what do you, your social media handles, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, yes, yeah, she dropped her phone number. Okay, so yeah. phone number is... What's the phone number? Okay, zero seven zero triple three. Mm -hmm. four, four three. Mm -hmm. four one six. Hold on. Triple three. Four yes. three. Four one four, six. six. Before we continue, yeah, okay, while you are at it, let me just quickly answer this question. Somebody was somebody um dropped the question now in the comment section. If uh, if they if if people pay to get flyer design done, yes, I've paid somebody two thousand naira per flyer before. I've paid somebody two thousand naira per flyer. <laughs> Please do not forget to tell them what they designed for you. <laughs> they designed me trash. They designed trash. And outside that, as a VA, if you do not know how to use Canva, you may not get a VA job. Because with Canva, you design their Facebook, their, or rather their social media posts. So first of all, if you, if you are one person that know a job platform called a remote job search platform called Upwork. Just go there and search for virtual assistant job and look at the requirements. You must see it there. So that is the importance of it. So I hope I've answered that person's question. All right. Please. Yeah, so somebody said, handle. where did you click to reduce the size of the picture? Okay. So when you tap on the picture. You see the four edges, right? You tap, you take, pick one of the edges and you drag at will. So you can either reduce or increase. But if you want to enlog, enlogate it, so whether the, um, to make it longer or wider, you tap the sides. You see the other um, rectangles at the sides, the four sides, yes, you pick one of them. For instance, you see, I've elongated this to the side. I don't want it that way, so I'm just going to undo, right? Or you can bring it, make it longer. Uh -huh. I don't want that either. But if you want to reduce the size all round, that is, let it remain a circle, but you reduce the size. You tap on the corners, the round, one of the corners, just pick one of the corners and you drag out or in, depending on what you want. Give me her email, her, her social media handles. That's all that is left. Okay, let me get that. Okay, and uh, learn with Jeb. Learn with Jeb. 
Facebook. Learn. Is it one word? Yes. Then with who? Jeb. It's a P. That's for Facebook. Yes, we are doing the explanation. Uh, Catherine. Catherine, we are what? doing the explanation. No, not you, not your Catherine. Somebody from YouTube's comment session. So I want to add um, Facebook logo to, to that. Where is my uploads? So I'm just going to come to my upload. I already have them. So you can go to um, Google and download logos from Google, right? Always ensure that you use the ones that are compatible. You can down, look for the P, P, PGN, is it PGN or PNG um, versions, formats, that, that's the ones they have removed background. Alternatively, mm. if you have a picture that has a background and you want to remove the background, download, Remove BG. I say again, remove BG. That's the name of the app. So you op you take the picture, you upload it on remove BG. Remove BG is going to remove the BG. That's of course background. And then um, you have your fine picture without a background. And you can also use remove BG to edit the picture. Like you can put it in a new background or you bring the picture backgroundless to Canva and use it as you want. Like these pictures here do not have a background. So you can use it as you want. Now, these are some of the people I've worked with, some as clients, others as, um, um, I'm looking for Facebook logo. Let me not talk too much. I don't even know where they are. Okay, Facebook, here we are. So I'm just going to reduce this, reduce it, okay, and I bring it here. So basically, this is it. I wish he had other information that can run through. That was why I left that space at the end. He has an Instagram handle. Them now. Bring them, I've been asking, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. A, B, C, and one, two, three with Jeb. What is the and? Is it A, N, D, or a sign? Yes, A, N, D, A, N, D. Okay, so I'm going to... So... Um... Pardon me, let me bring this back so it's visible. Let me bring this back, good. I think this is how I want it. So delete this, duplicate this, and bring this here and edit. Capital letters A, B, C. Is that it? No, small letters A, B, C. No, no, small letters, A, B, C. Is there another handle? No, 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 that's it. Okay, so this can come here. This can come here. This can come here. And I'll just duplicate this bring it here and I will replace that with Instagram. I already have those um, 
I'm just going to nudge it closer. Good. So basically, this is it. Now, I want to do something. I want to also make it, our time is up, but before I go, let me do this for you. So see what I did now. I tap on, you see this exact thing I have done here. You see it in a smaller version at the corner, the left-hand corner of my screen. So I'm going to tap on that smaller version and it's going to show me another pop-up. So either add a page to duplicate, delete, or what, what, what. I'm just going to add and uh, duplicate it. So I now have two pages of this. What I want to do is I want to turn this one to... Um, I want to turn this to a white background. So I'm changing all the write-ups to black. And I'm going to turn the background to white. So we have both the black and the white version. And I'm going to turn this background. Let's do an off-white something. So off-white, I'm going to change it to off white this is off white no this is off white great so the off white does not go yeah, with the yellow so i'm going there, to... no the yellow no. is it's not working with the yellow so i'm just going to look for a different mm -hmm. yellow let's do no that's now gold sharp mm -hmm. yellow that's no. gold that's not yellow so you see, it's not working with the um, yellow. So I'll rather do white for the background. Great. So, uh, Jeff Marvin, you have two options to either use the black or the white. Okay, so basically this is how you design from scratch. And of course, I showed you how you can design using a template. I hope the class was very well um, understood. So I'm just going to download. How do you download? You can either just, from my right hand, you have um, the upload button, the download button, then the ellipsis. So I'm just going to tap on the download button to download straight to my phone. Alternatively, I'm going to once you tap on the download button, it downloads straight to your phone, right? But I don't want to do that. I want to send it to Coach Wendy. So I'm going to come here and I'm going, you see, it shows you an option to either download, share the link, share email, or you can share to in any of these um, um, apps right here. So I'm going to share it with Coach Chiwendu on, on um, WhatsApp. So it's preparing my design. So basically, that is it. I am done here. So we can begin to ask our questions. Hello. Hello. OK, guys, let's ask our questions. Have we finished training? Anyways, we have um we have an advanced section, but that's still after we finish all our trainings. Then you will now decide if you are going to join our advanced section or you want to um make do with the knowledge you've gotten for from this two days class. For well, this today's training is absolutely free. Then somebody asked, how can I get um, a Canva Pro? Do you actually need Canva Pro to start with? Um, no, you do not need Canva Pro. Kochiwe? Um, yeah. So I don't know, you received a request to record the cloud. So the cloud rather. I thought you were recording. Yes, I was recording. I, th I see you are still recording. So I don't know why this prompt is showing me. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you too. So you do not need 
Canva Pro to start with. Like I said, I used Canva free version for three years or more. I only started paying for Canva Pro monthly when I started doing more with Canva. But as for a start, you do not need Canva Pro to start, I promise you. You don't. As long as you can de design from scratch, you are good to go. And you have your Google to always download pictures from if you cannot find, a, find a, a, the pictures you need on a Canva. You also have Remove BG to remove your backgrounds for you. So those are two very compatible apps that you can use to get very good designs on Canva without subscribing to the pro version and you'll be fine, I promise. Okay, um, can I take this next question from YouTube? Somebody is asking if they can do what you just did with phone. Um, Aisha, she actually <laughs> used her phone to design, not a laptop. And the person that said, I can see you use the laptop. I know no, she no. used a laptop. It's still the same, Aisha. It's not a laptop she used, though. She used her phone. I am holding I'm my phone in my hand. I'm the one using a laptop and I'm not designing. But she actually I holding, designed with her I phone. I'm holding my phone in my hand all through. This is with the phone. But you can also use the laptop. The laptop, you get a... Um, you get a little bit more options like um, to bulk create. You can't do bulk creation with your phone, but it's an option for laptop. So, but apart from that, man, you can do well with your phone. Like I don't even, I find um, Canva for laptops even more complicated. It took me, it took me a while for me to master using laptops really. Though there are some things that I enjoy doing on laptop because, um, there are some things that you just, I don't know how to explain that now. This will just make me talk so much. So, but there are some things that you can just do sharp, sharp on laptop. But if you want to do it on phone, it may take you a little bit more time. But because I've mastered the process, I really don't see anything in it. For me, it's now like a snap of a finger for me. So it's, it's all good. I use my phone more than I can, than I use my laptop. Okay, somebody asked a question. How can she make her designs not to be scanty? The design I just made, is it scanty? Let the person answer. Okay, for those who asked for recorded version, there's actually a recorded version, so do not worry yourself. Let, somebody asked. Answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need the person to respond. Okay, please I'm respond, sure please. I'm sure the design I just made is not scanty. And why is that? You see, at some point, I was even complaining about not having enough space to work with. That's why I started off saying that you need to know what you are designing for you to know the right size of paper or Canva to design on. Do you get? So if, you are, if your design is scanty, I would most probably think that you are doing something that can fit into an Instagram square on a flyer, right? So I will most probably think that that's the reason because an Instagram square um, uh, um, orientation is usually not big enough for any design to be scanty. I think it's usually not big enough. So your design, if you use the right paper, your design may not be scanty. Okay, and um, the next person that asked, he said, um, okay, please, ma, I would love to get, I've already answered this recorded question over and I'm over. I'm designing for someone who will give me the write-up. It depends. So if you are a VA, you already understand, um, you already understand what you are doing for your clients. So if you are a VA, you will definitely think up um, um, content for your client and you, you can put your content to paper that is on Canva. But if you are not a VA and the person is just reaching out to you for a design, the person has to tell you what they want because most often than not, I, I, have, a, I have a problem with people not giving accurate descriptions. So I want to make sure that we are on the same page. So if you are saying A, I will ask you again, do you mean A as in A, stroke, stroke, dash, or you mean A as in curve, 
and stroke, which is capital letter A of small letter A. So I want to ask you to the tiniest of details to ensure that we are on the same page, right? So if you are designing for someone that you are not a VA for one and one off job, you may need to take every um you may need to get every instruction that they need to be on on the design. Otherwise, if you are a VA, of course you should know what to do. That's why you are a VA. Okay. Um, a question just um popped up, and I know I registered that question in my head. Somebody said, um, if they can be a VA without um understanding how to design, yes, but you should understand. Like I would always say, Canva is very easy to understand. So you should have like a rough knowledge of how to design posts. Then uh, as a VA, you can be a VA with other skills and don't have a really strong graphic design skills. I do not have a very strong graphic design skills, but I can design posts. Then when it comes to the tech issues, like the more complicated graphic design, I, because I do not know how to do that, I outsource it to somebody that knows how to do it. When I get, when the person gets the jobs done and uh, maybe submits the job back to me, then you give it to your client. But at least understand the basic use of Canva. Canva is very easy to, to grab. Just understand the basic use of Canva and you're good to go. Okay, we have a company have their color. How do you use exactly that? Yes, when the company, okay, um, Kochibuzo, please just take that question, please. Okay, That's so your area. What I, here is what I always tell people. Canva is one app that it's, you cannot, in short, even me that is teaching Canva, eh, I don't think I can ever fully understand the app. I said, I don't think, I didn't say it's impossible. Do you know why? It's because they constantly, they constantly up their games. So there is a new feature that just came out on Canva. On Canva. If you have asked me this question two weeks ago, I would have said, I would have answered it differently. But now, if your company has their color, all you need to do is to get the color palette. So you know the color palette, the colors that they want, that that they are, they are the, 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 the palettes their colors are made of. What am I saying? Am I making sense? Shall you get no. the list of their colors? Eh? You get their colors arranged, like you can get a picture of it. If you can get a picture of their color all in one, in one picture. Hmm? Now you take it to your design. When you take it to your design, your design would automatically, the Canva will automatically adopt those pictures into their color scheme. So you will see a place where you see colors. And as you scroll, you will now see the picture, any picture that you have added to your design, it will bring out the colors in that picture and you can choose any of them. So that's one way you can get your company and uh, pick uh, color especially correctly alternatively you can use the 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 i don't know what it's called there but there is a color if while i was working on colors i'm sure a lot of you must have seen the the multi-color um a, a, a box with a plus sign in it so you can use that but it is difficult to catch a color one particular color twice except if you know the color code which is quite also difficult it's not something i recommend but if you can master it, it's good and fine you can do that i can i do it but it's not something that i recommend because it's not easy for a lot of people to do but that picture one i talked about you can get the exact color put in, use it as a picture put it in that design you may take it out later at the end of the day since you don't need it there also you may also if if you want color um canva to um automatically use the colors you just add ask it to, it's one of the ai features that just came out for canva you can ask it to apply the color the colors in that picture for you and it will do that okay and somebody just asked okay where can we get the job though that's part of tomorrow's lectures remember the uh course outline for this two days free training so remote and freelancing jobs will be handled tomorrow today is just to discuss about introduction to virtual assistants and skills okay when next is our meeting holding tomorrow evening 7 30 p.m okay um 
group three, people in group three, your class will be by 5 p.m. Why? I know tomorrow is Easter, please. Why we are eating that chicken and that swallow? Remember class. People in group three, your class will be by 5 um, p.m. Why people in group two? Because tomorrow will not be a Zoom class. It will be a WhatsApp class. Why people in group two, your class will be by 7.30 p.m. I would also send a notification in the group so you get to um, know the time perfectly. Please, you said something about site. I've just talked about it, so let's swipe that. Are you going to post? Oh, I'm not answering that question again. So um, the next question before, where can I apply? Okay, we've talked about that. Somebody said, um, what does it take to be an administrative virtual assistant? What does it take to be an administrative virtual assistant? You need skills like, uh, um, uh, you need to understand how to use Google Suits, Microsoft Suits, um, including your data entry, like spreadsheets, Excel, understand time management, understand research, um, because as an administrative assistant, you are a virtual office assistant. You operate like, you handle the admin sector of the business, the documentation, document preparation, and everything. Sometimes you combine some companies combine administration and HRO together. So they employ you as an admin stroke HRO. So you need to understand the general, uh, uh, you need to understand, first of all, generally time management, research, scheduling, email management, then your data entry, including how to prepare how to prepare your uh, uh, presentation preparation and um, your even um, your graphic design which is your general canva design is also part of administrative tax is also part of administration administrative tax so these and more that we'll be looking at tomorrow we'll be looking at a lot of others tomorrow let's take one or two questions more um, you Pami, there are two questions. There are two questions. Somebody says, I've been asking this question since, okay. Um, I actually stated it there. I tapped on, you will not understand it here that I'm saying it. So you may need to rewatch, you may need to watch the recorded version, but just keep it go to the, towards the end. You will see how I duplicated the, the, um, the, the design I made the initial design I made before I changed the color, right? It's very easy. You just tap the, okay, it's by your, the, 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 the corner, the left corner of your screen, the left bottom corner of your screen, you tap on the, the page you were designing, not the main page you were designing. You see the replica of the page you were designing. You see it there, you tap on it, you to bring up duplicate for you and you duplicate and that's all. Then somebody else says, how do I know the, how does one know the group he or she is part of? Please tap on the, the, the name of the group. You will see the full name there. You'll know that you're in group two or in group three. Okay, my baby is seeking my attention. I need to say good night at this point. Thank so you. Just um, return hosting right, please, before you move. Okay, okay. Um, so guys, um, we spent quite a lot of time. If we keep taking questions today, we will not leave here. If we keep taking questions, we will not leave. So um, remember tomorrow, we'll continue from where we stopped tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to talk about um, freelancing in general, remote work, how to position yourself places where you can get and apply for remote work, criteria to working remotely, and so on and so forth. So that's what we'll be looking at tomorrow. Like I said, group three, which is the group with um, green screen uh, DP, it's by 5 p.m. while you are eating your chicken and your rice. Remember me and remember class. Why group two? Yes. Is by 
7 30 p.m yes sorry group two is by 7 p.m no no 7 30 sorry group two is by 7 30 p.m so guys we'll meet again tomorrow so um enjoy the rest of your evening i hope you have a, you had an amazing time tonight i hope you had an amazing time thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you so much everyone i really really appreciate your presence here tonight so we'll be having you all tomorrow so good night for now and happy easter celebration send my chicken send my rice even if it's swallow I prefer apple and um, vegetable soup, something like that. Send it over. <laughs> so, best wishes, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, good night. I love you all. Thank you so much. And the recorded, you, uh, for those that would want to take the class again, just click on the YouTube link, the last link I said, sent. sorry for the missed up earlier on. So, click on the last link, the YouTube link, and you can watch the class over again. So, good night, guys. Oh, let me stop writing.